again, you're talk it's half time. We mentioned you're, you're still in the game. And then the start of the second half, 2-0, this game over. And we saw the quality, the pace, the power, the few days extra even. But the train, I think, is Newcastle looked to recharge the batteries. And I thought it was a really good game for Newcastle to have today in terms of a reset for the season, beating Sunderland 3-0. And they were very, very comfortable. Lack of quality from Sunderland. But they also you know, gifted some goals away, which doesn't help. You've been a manager. You do your half-time team talk. You think, right, let's see how it plays out in the second half. Within 32 seconds, whatever you've said is made redundant just by human error. Yeah, listen, young players, and they're only going to learn from their own mistakes. But when I see defenders trying to beat players in the box or on the edge of the box, I, I, I just think it's madness. You're under pressure. You're trying to get back. He's not trying to pass. He's actually trying to beat him. And, again, it's game over. They're punished. This, he's trying to beat him. He's trying to beat him. And listen, Newcastle were at it. They were putting them under pressure, the energy, and then they gift it, and it's, it's, it's game over. So, again, young players, they have to learn. They have to learn the hard way. But uh, utter madness from these defenders. The amount of goals now we see on the TV from players, defenders taking chances, all weekend we've seen it, and again today in such a big game, you know, again, mad, And there's mad. no margin for error. No, You've I, been outplayed the first half. You know what you want to do in the second half. Would you not play the percentage game? I don't think Fulham know how to play it. They've been the last two or three seasons have been playing, but get the ball down, and play, and try and play, and they get a bit of success in the championship. But you're talking about a Premier League team winning the Champions League, so they're a good outfit, in you because a very good outfit. You know, you didn't. To me, they didn't sort of think how can we, how can we win this game? Really, it was like we'll go and we play like they did. And Newcastle are a better side. Let's be perfectly honest. Newcastle are the better side. So you had to think of something else. How how can we get in this game? How can we affect the game? And as the game was going on, and you're watching it, you're thinking. Just not, they're never going to get into this game, Sullivan. Never. never. Decision making from young players. Yeah, at some stage, you've got, got to take responsibility. I'm, I'm sure the manager wouldn't be saying to him, you know, go over the second half and try and beat players on the edge of the box. That, that's, that will define a player's career. Your decision making at important times. And certainly a minute into the second half against your local rivals, you do not try and beat a man on the edge of your box. It's madness. Well, Michael, you talked about your young team wanting to be brave and play their way, but how do you sum it up in the end? Well, I thought, I thought the two goals we let in the second half obviously were really poor. The one at the start of the second half. I thought first half we weren't tidy enough with the ball. Defensively, at times, our shape was good. Uh, we know they're a high-quality team. And at times, we were untidy when we got the ball back. So he wasn't able to hurt. And we spoke about that at half-time. But obviously, we had the worst possible start. And nothing against the boys. It's how we play. But obviously, the levels are, are high. And we've got to make better angles. And they press down on us. Actually, in the second half, we had a couple of efforts. I think, you know, Pritch was unlucky with one on the bar. The keeper makes a fantastic save down to his right. But ultimately, on the day, there was a difference between the two teams in terms of experience and maybe know-how. And it's a gap. It's feedback for us. I think it's really valuable if we're honest with ourselves now in terms of moving forward. That won't be good words for the fans to hear right now because it's a derby, but it's the reality of where we are with the team. We want to give these young players the opportunity and responsibility. I think today was a big day for them in terms of feedback and we have to improve. Like, but I think if we use today, it will help us in our campaign in the Championship for sure. Yes, do you feel if you get even at 2-0 one of those chances from Alex Pritchard that you're, you're right back in it, that there could have been a momentum shift? Yeah, because the crowd were trying to help us and I think if we'd have got saying they would have really helped us in the game. As I say, it's a young group and at times today that's them being right in the deep end against a really experienced team that's had some tough days themselves at the higher level. So we learn and we go again. Yeah, what do you learn? What do you need to take now? Because is, is there a danger this knocks the group because of what this fixture means to the region? I don't think so, no. I think if the players are honest with themselves and the staff are and the gaps and the improvements we've got to make and our training goes up a level, then the level we play week in, week out in the Championship is not that level, if we're honest. And we have to obviously, at times, continue to be brave and stick to our style. Yeah. Do you think you might have overplayed, though? I know you, want, you, want, you have those principles, but do you think there might have been times today when you did overplay? Yeah, and listen, they're the decisions you make on the pitch. Maybe one or two older players on the pitch iron those things out for you. Like at the start of the second half, when we played back to our goalie and, and played back out, you could see the warning signs and Newcastle scored in the game. And so we'll look back on that moment with real regret. Of course we will. But as I say, it's a young group. We're really optimistic, we're really positive. We've got 20 huge games to go in the Championship and let's see where we end up. And what have you learnt in a way about, well, the players have learnt about the scale of an occasion, the, the, a real high-profile occasion, which a lot of them won't have experienced at this type of level before. What can they take from that now? 
Well, I think they know in this level, you know, everyone's got to be all in. I thought, you know, Newcastle's cohesion, their work ethic for each other and, and just in, te- in, in their intention was very, very high. And that's it. That's why they're a Champions League team. That's why that money's been invested. And for our young players, it's a great one if they take it on and they're honest. The honesty is the important thing now. No, like, scratching around and saying, oh, what if this happened, that happened? No, we lost 3-0 against our rival. It really hurts. No, we've got to go to work now. And what's your message to the Sunderland fans? They'll be feeling down this weekend. Stick with us. There's 20 games to go in the Championship. Our aim is obviously to get in that playoff, so then on a, on a one-off game against anyone, we can win it. There's a lot of hard work between now and then. But believe in this young group, OK? Today was a big eye-opener for them. It hurts because it's a derby, but the season's not ended right now. We've got 20 huge games to go. Eddie, some said it was the worst draw you could have had coming into to this game. You've been under a lot of pressure in terms of the run, so how good does it feel to win here? Yeah, it feels great. I, I never felt that way about the draw. I thought it was always a, a really good thing for us, um, providing you win it. <laughs> of course, if you don't win it, then it's uh, it's difficult. But I thought the lads were, were excellent today. I thought we did a really professional job. What pleased you most? Because considering the scrutiny around the fixture and, um, well, what you were expecting from Sunderland. I thought we handled the occasion really well. I thought we were brave with the ball. I thought we were very composed. Didn't let them get any head of steam up, use the crowd Everything that they were trying to do, I thought we took away from them in the first half. Uh, did your intensity as well, was that close to what it should be, what you expect from your team and elements of going back to basics? I thought it was, it was better. I, I still feel we're a little bit off our best, but it was a, a really big step forward in the right direction. And I think we've had a little bit of training time. We, we want a little bit more and uh, hopefully the forward momentum now can continue. The players seem to relish this occasion as well today. I'm looking at Bruno Gomarish and the way in which he tried to rouse the crowd right in front of them. It it seemed to bring out the best in a lot of your players this occasion. Well, I think when you look at the size of the games we've had this year, this was nothing new for us today. Now, of course, it was a derby game, but uh, I think we've handled some really, really big occasions very well this year. And I think that was another um, thing for us going very much in our favour. But still, you've got to do the little bits right, and I thought we did today. Can this be a defining game in a way for you now for the second half of the season? Listen, it doesn't get any easier in terms of Premier League fixtures, but in terms of just rebuilding something. Well, it, yeah, it keeps us in a very important competition, first and foremost, and that brings hope. Um, and of course, yeah, as you say, the, the Premier League doesn't get any easier with fixtures, but I believe on our best day we can beat anybody. And how do you look at this competition now? Listen, first time we're Derby win in 13 years. 1955, you'll know, last time Newcastle won the FA Cup. Uh, what, a, what an opportunity potentially this competition now is. That's why we have to approach it. And we, we've tried to view that with every competition we've been in this season. We've had some hard knocks this campaign. But hopefully this is the start of a bit of a, bit of a better fortune for us. And how is everybody? Joe Linton came off. Yeah, it looks like he's got a, a thigh problem. So that was probably the one black note on the day. Eddie, thank you very much. Well done.